Nowadays, most HF mobile and base station machines have speech compressors inside of them. Open up your owner's manual, find out where your speech compressor is, and then take some measurements. I think you'll be surprised. Well, let's get to it. Press and hold the function key. It'll take you into the menu area. Use the arrows to scroll up. Now we are in the speech compression setting, the menu area. To turn it on, of course, turn the wheel. And now we are ready to go. Today I will be taking eight measurements on this machine. Four with the speech compression off, and of course four with the speech, with the speech compression on. It is important to note that this particular machine comes with an RF gain slash uh, attenuator setting, but not a knob. Let me show you. Right here, the plus 10, right there, is a 10, it is a 10 decibel preamplifier. Uh, this mode will be useful when receiving uh, weak signals. If you wish to change that, press the RF button. Now, here, this is the factory's default setting. The instruction manual says usually select this setting. Press the RF again. Now, here, a 10 decibel attenuator is activated. When receiving strong local signals, select this setting. And lastly, we are a 20 decibel attenuator is activated. Select this setting when receiving very strong local signals, local signals, or when you find such signals near the received signal. Quick definition. An attenuator is a resistive device that reduces the amplitude of a signal without adding distortion to it. The amplitude of a radio signal is the power, so an attenuator is used to reduce the power of a transmission. I will be conducting experiments today with my Surecom SW102 and a 100 watt dummy load. Kilo Oscar 4, Sierra Whiskey Whiskey, Kilo Oscar 4, Sierra Whiskey Whiskey. And the finished product will look something like this. The actual output right there. And of course, dummy load will be a one-to-one. -one. But that's how the measurements are going to be taken. Before I display my results, there is one final thing left to consider. Compression is used extensively to boost the perceived sound or the perceived volume of sound while reducing the dynamic range of source audio. Part of this process is accomplished by setting a threshold and removing or limiting peaks or spikes emitting from a sound wave. That being said, here are my final results. Without compression at the top and compression at the bottom, um, I know these aren't earth-shattering numbers and I could have gone to another frequency and gotten better wattage, but that wasn't the purpose. Take your time and look at this and then go out there and purchase a dummy load and an SWR meter and make a few measurements. Thank you.